What's going on guys? We're headed down to Arkansas. As you can see, it's uh, been snowing for the last, I don't know, three or four days. Basically from northern Missouri to central Arkansas is uh, pretty well snow. So we're headed down for the Max Prairie Wing Snow Goose Competition. You guys saw me do this last year. Uh, we killed 473 geese last year. I'm sure that's probably not gonna happen again, but we're hoping we can uh, at least make a showing and hopefully win if everything goes right. But me, Bryce, and T-Lane are headed down. Bryce and T-Lane are actually on the team uh, this year and I'm gonna go film, so, so stay tuned. Should be a good time. Uh, we got 10 of our buddies are all on the team. It should be a bunch of fun, so. We're gonna roll in about probably one or two, maybe three in the morning, depending on how bad the roads are, and wake up and start scouting tomorrow on Sunday. Stay tuned. How are we doing? Hold on, we got the binocular strap stuck in the door. Got it. All right, guys. Uh, we didn't record much last night. The roads weren't too bad, but it took us a little while to get down here. I think we rolled in right at one. So uh, we're headed out to scout spot. We're going out a different spot. Uh, Chase is going to go out a different spot. I think we've got five or six trucks driving around. We have some birds that um, we know about. Uh, that we're gonna look at and then Hunter is going to the spot He really knows there's geese and then Chase has a feed that he was looking at last night So there's three or four different spots. It'll all change But the good thing is we've got weather today. That's the same as weather tomorrow. So um, We're hoping if we can uh, find a good feed this morning and uh, they stick tonight They're gonna hopefully do the exact same thing tomorrow. So Stay tuned, we'll show you some feeds and uh, hopefully we find something good and hopefully all the guys uh, find something good. Bryce said he thought about 30,000. About 30,000? That's a little slow. 30,000. Like coming from the north. Did they end up finishing in that field? Oh, there's a few. They're starting to dump in. The ones coming out of the south are coming into it. God. There's some coming back out of the north. You gave me a heart attack, uh, dude. It ain't nowhere what it was this morning. Yeah. These strains that are coming coming north hit it, and then it, it'll build back up pretty quick. Something's better than nothing, though. Yeah. I don't know. Everything that we're looking at right now is in cotton fields. They're going to be on the end of that point, the way they fed up. Mm-hmm. That we was looking at this morning. Yeah. But there's a pile of geese up north somewhere. All right, guys, it's the morning of the competition. I don't know what you saw yesterday, honestly. It was all over the board. We uh, found a field, and then we kind of got out of the field, and then it just, it was kind of wild. We didn't know if we were going to hunt that field. Oh, here, you want to do it, Hunter? No, you're doing great. You got anything to say on the camera? If we'd uh, had it yesterday morning, we don't want again. But with a change in ice going, again. geese move fields. Yeah, that's pretty simple. We're headed out to the field. We're gonna try to kill them. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. We're gonna reuse that buck. Yeah, that one I threw up. I know this one's just buckled. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it is about guys in headlights. They choose to wear them. Let me know the charges that I never wear. You want one? <laughs> oh, we got two arms in the trailer right there. Probably good not work for the morning. If you got a battery. Okay. Well, Thanks for the coming. Did you wake up? Caught up all night, so come walk me up for us. Who, me? Yeah, you. That's because Jack. <laughs> Every time my back goes leave, Jake put his front feet up there and just lay down on me. I was like, fine then, damn, I'll leave. I didn't know who was coming in my room. All right, we're getting gas. While I got light, I'm going to explain the rules real quick. There's 10 people on a team. Our judge from Max is here with us, and uh, he is going to watch our every move. Me and Hunter Riley, who you guys might know, I'll drop his Instagram right here, are going to film the whole thing so you might see my perspective or Hunter's perspective. Um, there's 10 people on a team. Our judge from Max is going to sit right down the turn row from us, watch the entire hunt, 
He has to inspect everyone's bags, inspect the shells, inspect the decoys, inspect everything, and then watch the entire hunt. We have to call Max by 11 with our birds and the right number, and then we're gonna drive the Max, um, assuming it all goes well. So stay tuned, we're all filling up. Everybody's trucks loaded up, we're headed down to the field. Uh, I'm excited, this is probably the most fun hunt of the year. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. I found that hot dog. Did you? Yeah, it was right here. My thought was a damn frog. The hot dog? James Scott said he hit a hot dog in my truck somewhere. It was in your gas tank? Yeah, I opened it up. I wasn't paying attention. Reached in there to take the cap off. I wasn't a frog. It was a damn big old hot dog. <laughs> Look at all the shells. This should be fun. You're good. I'm just trying to ease on this frog still. Right at you, right at you, Stafford. Left side.
Come on. They going? She won't fall behind me? Yeah. You smoked two or three that time. Rossies. guys we're doing real good we've had four big volleys uh, me and hunter are just sitting enjoying the show uh, it's pretty pretty good so far so we're cleaning everything up as much as we can before more geese coming uh, yeah it's been crazy it's awesome lots of geese dying and we're getting them close you guys can see there's the spread and there's our blind you can't even see our blind so been awesome stay tuned hope they keep flying I would throw them in the blind if you can. Oh, 
hope so. <laughs> I thought you were shooting that one in the free fall or that one. There's a bunch coming from the north. Like a bunch. Look at those guys down there. Look at them up above us. Come on now. This is decision time. Oh, I thought we let him go. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Jesus. Just keep shooting. There wasn't very many failed, it looked like. I fixed my other gun. Yeah, I heard. 
We probably got ten. Thank you. They're coming right here on the left. Too greedy, man. That was pretty good. Coming over, coming over. Yeah. James Scott, I can't pick up any birds, so I told James Scott this bird was back here. And that's how it was laying. All right, guys, they're cleaning up some geese. I don't know how many are out here. I bet there's 30 out in the decoys from the last two or three volleys. I, it seems to slow down, then starts picking back up. We're getting continual geese out of the south. And uh, I don't know, we're raining 10, 15, 20 out of most groups, so we got two or three more hours to hunt. We're hoping they just keep rolling. Well, we're picking everything up. It's 9.40 about, and uh, we haven't shot a goose in the last 20 or 30 minutes. We gotta call all the geese in by 11. So, we also gotta pick this whole field up. You can see this field just, I mean, it froze last night, but look at all the water in there. So, we need to pick everything up today. So it's gonna take us a while to pick everything up. We gotta count all the geese, make sure we have all the geese counted and we gotta show up with the same number. So we'll see what happens. Uh, gonna just pick up, look for cripples and uh, I guess uh, go on from there. What are you doing, JP? How many piles are we at? How many piles are we at? Still a good pile in there? How was that walk? The hunt was this morning was worth it. Like, I ain't gonna complain one bit Me about either. having to walk or something. B man. This is the second most ever killed in this tournament. Well, you can't do anything about it. Then. And then we, we killed the up. first also. But I mean, I'm just saying. So what we do? There's exactly 20 piles of tent here. Seven well, down here. Well, they got a and 13 up there. there. And, uh, they're walking back with, I don't know, five or six more, so. Tentatively, I don't know. There's probably 205 maybe, but we'll get a good final count and uh, see, you can see all the geese behind me, so. Like Hunter said, last year team shot 190, um, so 200 would have won it every single year, but 
this year could be different. So we'll see when we get to max. Hey guys, before we went any further in the video, I just wanted to talk real quick about the Max Prairie Wing Snow Goose competition and kind of the bigger purpose behind the whole competition. I know it's easy to get caught up in uh, the winning, the prizes, um, and then just the pride that comes along with that and uh, just <clears throat> a lot of extra talk. But uh, man, there's a, a bigger reason behind why this competition's going on. I had been made known of where the money went and kind of the bigger purpose behind the competition last year and uh, got re-emphasized to me this year and I just wanted to quickly run through some stats to let you guys know um, why this competition exists and why it is such a good deal. So over the course of four years, um, 4,686 geese have been donated to Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry. The guy I talked to that has close connections with Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry said that that's provided 37,488 meals across Arkansas in four years. So don't think those geese go to waste. These go to people in need and uh, every goose is processed and delivered to somebody who needs the food. Over the four years, $129,000 has been raised um, for waterfowl initiatives and uh, conservation minded organizations. A third of the donations have gone to Ducks Unlimited, um, that's $43,000 over the course of four years. Uh, they're using the proceeds for the Green Tree Reservoir Restoration Project on 16 public WMAs. Um, that's 50,000 acres across Arkansas. 43,000 went to Delta Waterfowl and then another 43,000 went to Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry. So um, I just wanted to give those quick stats. Um, you can get in contact with the guys at Max or the guys a part of Delta Waterfowl, Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry or Ducks Unlimited and they'd be glad to tell you about the projects and where the money's going. But there is just a bigger cause to all this than um, you know the prizes or being able to say you won. So um, yeah, we'd love to see people join the competition. Um, it helps waterfowl in general and uh, it's just an awesome event so back to the video hope you guys are enjoying it thanks Unofficially, yeah. <laughs> not officially yet. They haven't gotten back to the yet. But the closest one was like 60. So we kind of stomped them. Again. Did we win? I think so. How does that make you feel? This sandwich makes me feel real good. <laughs> Sushi's going to be 10 times better. Now. Blood and all. Yeah. You'll just like all the geese have been brought in. Looks like we had pretty much a carbon copy of what happened last year, except the numbers were not quite as good as last year. Uh, I want to congratulate the guys with Wild Goose Chase. They killed 203, and the uh, second place team was. Let me get my gogs out here. Sky Carp was 63. You guys, guys did a great job. Congratulations wow. to you. Third of it goes to Ducks Unlimited, and the other third goes to Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry. And I want to thank Ronnie Ritter for bringing the trailer up here, and transporting all the geese to get them processed to go to needy meals. I think it's a, a really great deal that we're doing here. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, we won. We're inside Max right now. I just wanted to let you all know. Um, they have to all take a polygraph test, like a lie detector test. Um, they ask them a bunch of questions about how the hunt went, um, ask them if they cheated, ask them, um, you know, how they killed the geese, um, so on and so forth, just to make sure that it all checks out. We had called in 203 geese. We brought in 203 geese when they counted it, so it all ended up working out perfect. And uh, I think the second place team shot 63 or 4, so um, good job to them. Um, awesome that. This competition exists, awesome that um, people just get together over snow goose hunting. So I did want to mention that all of the geese that get killed in this competition that show up to Max get donated to Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry. So it's a big deal. 
it's a lot of food that goes towards people in need. So I know I got a lot of questions last year about where the meat went. It was all donated and it all goes um, to a good cause. So thanks again for watching guys. There's a lot more Snow Goose content that'll be out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.